I've never really grown out my facial hair before unless I've just gone several weeks without trimming it. So the length here is probably close to the thickest it's ever been. I've used Philips razors pretty much since the day I started grooming my facial hair. Uh, I found they last a really long time. They're super affordable and reliable. I think this razor costs maybe 30 pounds. I also use a wet razor, but that is optional um, and we'll get into that later on in this video. I start by de-thickening the beard using a five millimeter guard. It's personal preference what size you go, but I like to keep it around five millimeter. Not everybody's facial hair grows out evenly and so the process of trimming your facial hair might not be as simple as it is for me, especially if you experience any kind of patchiness. Take this person's facial hair for example. If I was them, I wouldn't touch any of the facial hair on the cheeks whatsoever, but I would intentionally bring down the chin growth just so everything looks a lot more uniform. Hopefully that makes sense, but do let me know if you'd like to see a video on this topic specifically. Okay, so we've taken a significant amount of weight out of the beard and I'm already feeling a lot better at this point. I then start drawing up my neckline. Personally, I like to draw a line roughly two fingertips beneath the jawline. Patience is a virtue during this step. It's also better to start lower down on the neck so that if you do get a dodgy line, you can just gradually move up. Um, if you start too high up, well, you're just gonna have to settle for a dodgy line if you do mess up. In terms of the cheek line, I, I don't really know what to call it exactly, but the hair, the hair here, um, I prefer to keep it a lot more natural. In the past, I have sort of trimmed into it and the result is quite like a chin strappy look. Um, these days, I prefer to just leave it as it is. Once you've defined that neckline and you're happy with it, trim the excess hair beneath it and then we're very briefly going to discuss the sideburns um, where the beard kind of connects to the hair. Okay so this was a step that I never had to implement prior to receiving my last haircut. If you're not aware of what I'm talking about um, I highly recommend you go and check that video out. Basically I cheated on my barber, went to a hair salon and they shaved into my sideburns so now I have to maintain them in between haircuts. I tie my hair into a bun as always to ensure I'm not trimming any of my actual hair. Now I'm just using my beard trimmer here with a guard to very slowly begin trimming away at that sideburn. Once I've removed the bulkiness, the weight of it, I then fine tune using a pair of eyebrow scissors. The other area of my hair which I'm highly motivated to maintain myself is these kind of like neck bits here. They're not ideal to be honest. Um, I guess what's stopping me is I, I've never, A, I've never trimmed them before so I don't really know how to approach that but secondly it's probably best to just get someone else to do it someone else to help you out or just go for a haircut I mean there's always that option okay so before we move on to the wet shave we need to have a little discussion about the skincare it's so important when shaving to use the right skincare products for you to avoid irritation and to get a cleaner shave this video is kindly sponsored by geology who I've personally used for almost two years now when I neglected my grooming routine several weeks ago that included skincare I feel like it's one of those things that because it doesn't provide an immediate impact like when you go to apply a product you don't immediately notice the benefits so it can be one of those things that many guys including myself can struggle to be consistent with but that's where I feel geology come through uh, it massively simplifies skincare it boils it down into four products. On Geology's site you can take a really quick skin diagnostic test which basically prescribes you a skincare routine based on the answers you give. It's also got some really effective ingredients which the average guy probably will never come across unless they invest themselves into skincare. A big tip for anyone that struggles to be consistent with their skincare is to tie it in with something you already do. So it's quite routine for me to go to the gym in the evenings. I'm already going to go to the gym. I'm already going to shower afterwards so why not add a super simple step to an already ingrained routine. If you are interested in checking Geology out I'll be sure to leave a link in the top of the description. And so finally moving on to the wet shave this kind of just puts the cherry on top for me. I start by switching out the blades. You really only want to be using a pair of blades for three to five shaves I would say. Start by cleansing the face. It's recommended you exfoliate here to open up the pores and hair follicles but I just didn't have any exfoliator at the time of filming this. Once you've cleansed, apply your shaming cream, foam or gel and really work it in. If you need super precise lines or you're just maybe not comfortable using a shaving foam where you can't really see where you're shaving, I would suggest using a shaving gel. It's transparent and does the same thing. Take it slow and only apply a moderate amount of pressure. Too much pressure, you're obviously just gonna cut the skin. 
too little pressure the blade will sort of skip rather than glide um, which can also obviously cause nicks cause you to bleed so yeah find that moderate amount of pressure once I'm done shaving arguably the most important step that follows is to apply a moisturizer well first you cleanse and then apply a moisturizer I would even encourage you to take this one step further and apply an SPF as your skin will be far more susceptible to sun damage once you freshly shave them the sponsor of today's video geology actually have a moisturizer which is a moisturizer and SPF so that way you're knocking two birds out with one stone um, and everyone's happy and just like that aesthetically speaking we're back to feeling our best hopefully you guys found this video insightful uh, if you did a thumbs up is greatly appreciated subscribe if you haven't already we're back to posting weekly if not twice a week um, but until then I will see you all in the next one take care guys bye bye